I have Heather Mason with me now. Where did you grow up, Heather? I grew up in the small town of Clanton, Alabama. Clinton? Clanton. Clanton. Yeah, we're known for having peaches. <laughs> There's a big peach water tower on the interstate. And where's, where's uh, Clanton from, like right here? Um, it's about an hour and a half away. It's pretty much smack in the middle of the state, right between Birmingham and Montgomery. How did you decide on Auburn? Well, I had a family friend who had sons who went here, and they would tell me all the good things about Auburn. And my high school actually did some things with Auburn, and we would come to the campus. Like my science teacher, he wanted to promote engineering for mm -hmm. our students because there wasn't a lot of opportunities at my school. And he was actually an alum, uh, Auburn alumni, and he was, I think, the way we were getting these like finding out and getting us here he was connecting us to Auburn and I fell in love with the campus I like loved the people and I didn't really give a lot of places a chance <laughs> I just wanted to be here <laughs> <laughs> what year are you here at Auburn I'm actually a senior but a senior. I'll be here a little bit longer since I changed my major <laughs> well you did from what to what I was originally pre-pharmacy and I changed it to aviation management when was your first flight in an airplane then well I had my first flight in any kind of airplane was when I was 13 and I went with my, my family and I, we go to South Africa and that was my first flight ever. And then I think two, two or three years ago, I had a friend that is in my co-ed aviation fraternity and he took me on a small airplane to Atlanta just so I can kind of get exposure because I was considering changing my major at that point and I was like well I need to be at least in this and make sure I can like physically handle it and make sure I would enjoy being in an airplane that tiny and feeling all that turbulence and I loved it mm -hmm. and it was definitely something that I wish I would have gotten into aviation sooner like as a child or in teenage years, anything, just something to have shown me and opened my eyes to it, anything. And then I came here and I met just some pilots and my roommate, her father was actually a Delta pilot and um, her cousin was in the same co-ed aviation fraternity and she wanted to be, their whole family was with Delta so I would fly with them and stuff and it exposed me to it and I realized it's a group of people in a field that I would really love. When I was in pre-pharmacy, my father and I like were discussing things, and I wasn't really thrilled about it. I just kind of picked something because I didn't know what I loved, and I was telling him that I love to travel. I want to travel and see things, and I was like, maybe I can be a flight attendant. And he's like, well, why don't you fly the plane? And I was like, it's a good idea, you know. Mm -hmm. And then that's when I started trying to look in and meet people and expose myself and get in there. And that's when I met my friend John. And, and took me in a, a little flight in a Cessna to Atlanta. He, we, um, we have a Alpha Eta Rho as a co-ed aviation fraternity, and okay. that's how I kind of met a lot of the people I knew that fly out here. And it is a very small little community, so you see a lot of familiar faces. And if, even if you weren't in an organization with them, you get to know everyone. So are you working on your private now, or where where are you with you? I'm on private. I well. I actually am. How, how was the first solo when you soloed the first time? It was awesome. I The first solo we did was just around like in the traffic pattern and my mother came up and I was so excited and I I was nervous but I was like I've done this so many times I like I got this and I had done the smoothest landings I had ever done yet at that point and I was so proud and then my first cross country I was just I could actually take myself somewhere and it was just really thrilling and exciting and I love the idea that it's a different perspective that a lot of people don't see like flying in a small airplane being able to just see everything from a different viewpoint is just exhilarating to me like I don't know it's special. It is isn't it? <laughs> Have you flown back to your home? Colin? I have not yet. I I think it's kind of a policy that we don't fly back to our homes oh. while we're students. Mm -hmm. And but as soon as I get my license, I'll be flying home because my Clanton actually has an airport, so I can just fly home. <laughs> uh, uh, one runway at Clanton. Um, I'm. I think there might be two, but I know one of the runways are extending. 
because uh -huh. we usually have the fair out by the airport. It's on Airport Road, and they had to move the fair this year because they were extending it. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, that'll be fun when you do that for the first time. Yes. You fly right over your house. <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm excited to go and like see all the little places that I grew up in mm -hmm. from a different view. <laughs> Yeah, that's really fun. Where did you take your first cross country to? Uh, Montgomery. Yeah. Yes. And stopped. Yes, uh, full stop. Signed just, off. Yep, and came back and I, I really I had a couple of cross countries. I've been to Montgomery, Detroit, to Birmingham. Good. How are you studying for the oral for that? I kind of go through the PTS standards and I kind of I have like a bunch of notes that I take that when I'm with my instructors I know are my weaknesses so I kind of take note of it so I can review it. And it's, sometimes I'll find someone to kind of quiz me or rack my brain I try to like kind of do like a mock one. Sure. Tell me about that. What are you looking at to where are you going to go with uh, the, the aviation part of your career? Um, I'm still unsure about that at this point. I'm leaning towards corporate aviation, but I'm, it's constantly a juggle between corporate or commercial or airlines, I mean, mm -hmm. and I hear the benefits of both, and I, I ideally thought I would like smaller planes, mm -hmm. but I, I, I'm not sure yet, so that's why I'm kind of like taking my time and trying to get people's different inputs and opinions from each field. And I'm going to try and apply for internships as well. So. That's a good idea. Yeah. What, what, do you, uh, what do people say about the benefits of uh, corporate? Um, I just say like it's more of just a personal kind of deal. And I know that you don't get the same benefits as like for your family as you would maybe airline, but you get kind of like your 401k and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. I think it's just my personal preference. I like the idea of a smaller airplane rather than flying like a huge one full of people. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but it's exciting. I like to drive and fly everything. Like, I love driving my car and I love like operating machines. So I feel like even if I ended up going commercial or just not the way I plan, I'll still enjoy it anyways because sure. I just like to do it. <laughs> and. Uh, what, what do you see as a benefit for, for flying for an airline, for example? Um, I know my, like, when my roommate and I would fly to Maryland, we would get, like, buddy passes, and so we would get, like, I'd pay $100 and I'd get, I'd get to go with her and fly all the way to Maryland, and that was nice to know, and I was like, if I could have that for my family, I can let my children go and see things and provide them with opportunities I may not have done. I, I'm not familiar with a co-ed aviation fraternity, did you say? Yes. Sure. Yeah, it's a business fraternity too. It's not like a social fraternity. It's part of the, I think, the College of Business and anyone who's interested in aviation can join. You don't have to be an aviation major. Uh -huh. And it's just a bunch of people who are, a lot of them are pilots or engineers, but we just like to get together. We like to help each other out, spend time with each other, and then also like provide connections and stuff sure. like that for our members. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how, how did you get uh, interested or find out about that organization? Um, my roommate, her cousin oh. was in it. Okay. Yes. And, and then she's, she's graduated several years ago or something? Oh no, um, at the same time when I was like a freshman, and my roommate was a freshman as well, but her cousin was I think a sophomore. Uh -huh. And so she was in it and like she would tell me about all the fun things and then I joined it and then um, I ended up becoming an officer, a uh, public relations officer for it later on, 